In this tutorial, I'll show you how to create a camera flying through the text effect in After Effects, so let's get to it. First, you would need footage where the actual camera is moving forward. Here you can see in my example, this is shot on a drone and the camera is moving forward quite quickly. So if we add some text in the scene like this, it would be very easy to create like a camera fly through effect. So once you have your video set up and ready, you want to open effects and presets window and search for 3D camera tracker, then add it to the video. Then it would take some time for After Effects to analyze your video frame by frame in order to generate tracking points to which we will be able to attach the text to and the text will stay fixed to a certain position throughout the video. So just patiently wait until this is finished. And once After Effects is done analyzing your footage, you should see a lot of points created in your video and these are called the tracking points. So if for some reason if you've clicked away and you don't see the points, make sure you come back to the Effect Controls panel and select the 3D Camera Tracker and then you should see the point again. If you have the cursor over any of the points, you should see this target icon with different orientations. And this gives you like a general understanding of what orientation the text is going to have if you were to attach it to a certain tracking point. But you can always change that so it is not really that important. So here I'm going to come to the start of the video. Then I'll look for the point where I'd love to place the text, so maybe somewhere in the middle of the road. So this point looks fine. I'm going to left click to select these points, then I'm going to right click. And here we have a couple of options since we're creating the text. I'm going to select create text and camera. That will create text with the same orientation as the target icon. Now I'm going to expand the properties of the text going to transform. And first I'm going to decrease the scale because the text appears too big. If it looks fine for you, you can leave the scale as it is. I'm also going to increase the X rotation so the text faces toward us, so that would be 90 degrees. Also, I'm going to increase the Y rotation slightly to make the text face toward the camera and play around with the Z rotation to fix the tilting issue of the text. There are two options of adjusting the position. You can do that in the Composition Monitor using the sliders or you can use the position controls down here. I prefer to do it from the composition itself. I'm going to drag the text to the left and then drag it up so it appears as if it's floating. Now if we move forward on the timeline uh, to the point where the camera is closest to the text, so this moment here, you could take this moment and adjust the position of the text so that it appears as if the camera is flying through the text. Also you can further adjust the rotation value so the text appears a bit better for your liking. And after you've done that, we need to go to the geometry options. Now, if the geometry options is not available for you, go up to composition, composition settings, then open 3D renderer tab and set a renderer to be Cinema 4D, then click OK. Now you should be able to see geometry options, so let's expand those. And here you'll find extrusion depth. As we start increasing it, you can see the text is getting extruded and looks like a proper 3D shape. Now, since our composition doesn't have any light sources, uh, the text doesn't have any shadows and it looks very, very flat. So let's add light sources. For that, we go up to Layer, New and select Light. Now for the light type, I'm going to select the Point Light and set Intensity to 100%. Make sure Cast Shadows is selected, then click OK. Now you can see the text has shadows, but let's adjust the position of the light by switching to two views. And then set default view to left to see from the side. So here's our text and this is our light. So it's currently below the text. So I'm going to bring it up on the Y axis to place it above the text. And after that, I'm going to switch back to the one view. After that, I'm going to add another light. So again, layer a new light. And this time I'm going to select the ambient light with the intensity of 40% and click OK. And this is done to soften the shadows because if you don't add it, uh, there's too much contrast and the shadows look too dark. If that's something you like, you can leave it as it is. I prefer to add an extra ambient light to make the shadows a bit lighter. It's all starting to come together and the text looks very, very nice. We can even go back to the geometry options and add a bevel style. So here you can see there are three options. I prefer to use convex, so I'm going to select it, then set bevel depth to 1, that'll add a slight bevel to the text. Now if you preview this from the beginning, it will probably be very slow for you because we're dealing with 3D shapes in Cinema 4D and that tends to be quite heavy on the system. To enable a faster preview, you can toggle this draft 3D icon. This will make the previous a lot faster. It will reduce the quality of the text though, but like as a general way 
to preview and see whether you've aligned the text properly or not, it should do the job. So whenever you're ready to preview in full quality, make sure you disable Draft 3D and here let's preview in full quality. And this is how you can create a camera flying through the text effect in After Effects without using any plugins. I hope you enjoyed and learned something new. Thank you guys for watching and see you in the next one. Peace out.